We interrupt our programming to bring you the following special report. The Ryan Report. Whatever opinion they had ain't gonna change nothing I'm doing. What was the story he told? Because I, I was there. It's time for the Ryan Report. It's like Jay-Z, all eyes on us. On the People Station, V103. Yep. It is your Ryan Report brought to you by McDonald's. If you can sing, check out the gift ATL singing competition for your chance to win $5,000 in cash and prizes. You can also perform at Wolf Creek Amphitheater. Visit thegiftatl.com to register. I'm loving it. All right. President Obama brings celebrities to the White House over the weekend Mm -hmm. for a My Brother's Keeper Youth Initiative. Nicki Minaj, Buster Rhymes, J. Cole, Wale, and DJ Khaled were all part of the uh, fancy affair. Also invited was Rick Ross, the boss, (laughs) with his ankle bracelet on. (laughs) <laughs> Apparently, it went out because Rick Ross stayed out too late. Oh, it went off? Yeah, so while the president's making his speech uh-huh. about young people of color staying out of trouble. And what happened? They said that Barack was like, and we want all of you to understand as role models that you need to make sure that the people that are listening to you understand and it's not a game. It's real. And they say Rick Ross is crazy with Wow. Said so just randomly beeps. But everybody was quiet because the president was talking. Did I hear something? Does someone have their phone on? Whoa. <laughs> so did he respond? Who? Rick Ross. Yes. What did you say? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Waka Flocka. Flame. On La- Instagram. LaFleur. <laughs> in an ambulance. <laughs> Obviously in Seattle for a performance. Smoked 20 blunts. What? And then had some edibles. You know. Brownies. Marijuana, marijuana brownies. Jolly Ranchers. Whoa. The only thing about edibles is you don't know who made them. And you don't know how much how is in strong, them right. and how strong they right, are. Right, right, right. They said he went from zero to 100 real quick. Where's Deb Antony? <laughs> <laughs> Deb Antony, call me, girl. Oh, my goodness. Smoking and chewing yeah, at the you same can. time. Yeah, them edibles, they say are serious. Way to do it. Did it with no hands. <laughs> Great. Way to go, Walker, Flocker, Flame, All right. Flip. Uh, and... <laughs> Designer. You know, he got bras in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. You know, the Phantom. Right, right. But in New York, he was throwing up. There's a video. <laughs> There's a video. He does He does shows like how David Banner does. Right. You know, uh-huh. climbs all up in the stage. He's got a hype man. He picks up the hype man, jumps around with the hype man, who is very surprised because he's like, why is he picking me up? And then he puts him down. <laughs> and then while he's performing in New York... He just throws up Ugh. and keeps on performing. That's the brownies. <laughs> That's the brownies. My mom did that one time on the uh, screen machine. Ugh. I was like, Mom. She's like, I don't feel good. I was like, Mom, this is screaming. She's like, oh, I well, told you. <laughs> <it's yucky. laughs> so the video is all out there, man. I could just put in designer throws up and it comes up. But he kept on going. Now, the people on stage were quite surprised because... <laughs> Because he was still going like, hey, guess dude, what kind of food he threw up? up. I don't want to know. Panda Express. Oh, <laughs> that's so nasty. All right, Look moving here. on to the story we don't want to do. Hmm, this one hurts my heart. All right, so hmm. there's all this stuff about what's going on with Monica, Atlanta's own, hmm. and her and her husband, oh, no. Shannon Brown. You know. What's going on? Is the marriage on and off? <sighs> Monica performing over the weekend. Right. Without that wedding ring. So unlike her. I mean, she wears a wedding ring everywhere. Oh, no way. Um, you know, just adding speculation mm-hmm. to speculation about what's going on. This really breaks my heart because I know I always use her as, as an example. Yeah. You know, as being such a great mommy. 
and a great girl and everybody like she's Atlanta's girl. Maybe she just forgot the wedding. Yeah, and I and I just hope that her marriage right. is doing well. Don't want to see that for her. She's been through so much. Don't deserve to be nothing go wrong with her. Have you ever forgot your wedding ring? Yes, I have. There you go. I mean, things happen, but you know. But yeah. it's the first thing it's that people. It's been mornings I've come in here without it, and people will say on the live stream, "Ooh, where's Wanda's wedding? What? Are you serious? Yeah, yes, because I wear it every but single day. But you know, if there's day. speculation, people are already going to be looking for something. Yeah, but if they if they have a reason, like you said, right? If they have like, a reason to, I have doctor that. friends that right. don't wear wedding rings. They don't. Right. Uh, well. Well, Monica, we wish you well. And if you need to talk, girlfriend, we are here for you. Not having that. Don't make me pass somebody's house, kick down the door and smack the chick. <laughs> 722 right now. Wanda ain't having it. That is your Ryan Report right here at the People Station. It's V103. And if you don't know, now you know, you know, you know. The Ryan Report. The Ryan Report. V103.